Hello! There was no ISPO fair this winter due to the pandemic, but uh, we traveled around Sweden and visited some of the major ski brands. And here are the top nine products coming for next winter. So enjoy! This is the new QST Blank 112 and uh, this is a completely new ski versus uh, our previous uh, generations of the QST family. We created a new shape where we are moving the wider points uh, of the ski uh, a little bit in towards the middle of the ski. Basically giving you a better flotation since you are also increasing the rocker of the ski. It also gives you that reliability to ski when it's in deep pow and increases your ability to basically pivot the ski. So that's a super cool, new and important thing of this new ski. Uh, secondly, if you look at the, the measurements and you can see that it's 112, as I said, and it's coming down towards 17 meters. So that also tells you that it's going to be pretty agile if you need to. Looking on, on what's in the ski, all the materials that we are using, our wood core alongside the full ski, and we're adding our CFX, our carbon flax material, which is a material that is very flexible yet being stiff and lightweighted. So that creates that power and stability that you need. Uh, we are adding our double sidewall construction to make it powerful just under your ski when you're skiing in, in a higher speed and when you are really charging down the mountain. Over the past year we uh, developed a material called the uh, cork amplifier. So we are using now cork in the tip and in the tail and cork actually has the the positive of having a 15 times higher absorption than a regular choroid construction. So it really helps you when speeding or going speeding and also in other conditions when you are, when it's pretty messy. And uh, the ski itself is uh, very versatile and if you, if you look at the, uh, the people behind the ski and the, the mountain collective of Solomon, we know that we have various people uh, using this ski, so Cody, Stan Ray, Alexi Goodbout, all of them are skiing on this kind of ski and been a part of this development. And if you look at them uh, as profiles, they are using different bindings. So this ski goes along with the Solomon shift binding, it goes along with the MTN pin binding, or you can charge it with the STH binding. So it's a very versatile uh, ski for big conditions, big mountains, as well as charging down the hills in the resort with uh, a strong agility. Tell us about the weights. It's not the preferred weight of a, of a pure touring ski, but it's not also the most uh, the, the ski with the most or the highest weight. So I would say it's a, it's a pretty, as I said initially, a versatile ski that you can use for, for your everyday skiing when you're hunting for powder or, or when you're skiing in the resort. And you can obviously, you can mount it with your, with your touring bindings or in particularly with a very good free touring binding such as the Solomon uh, shift binding. That would create the, the perfect set and the perfect matchup for this kind of, uh, of ski. So it's a ski for, let's say, free ride touring and free ride more than for pure touring. So the QSD blank is uh, delivered in one uh, width, which is 112 millimeters, uh, no matter which length you are choosing. So if you go a 184, it will still remain 112, which creates that uh, floatability as well on the foot when skiing in, in deeper snow conditions. Will QSD blank replace the normal QSD series? Not at all, actually. It will just extend the family. So if you look at the QSD family and how it looked in the past, we had a 106 and we had a 118. And now we are actually removing the 118 and we are replacing it with the, with the 112, I could tell. And I think that we actually will be able to serve more people with this ski than we've done with the 118, or I'm pretty convinced that we will do actually, because this is a much more versatile ski. Tell us about the, the rocker profile. On the new QST Blank, we, we modernized the shape a bit. As I said, we moved down the rocker uh, and the, lower, the wider point of the ski, more to the center of the ski, and created a longer rocker profile in the tip, and as well as in the tail. 
uh, but still we, we really want to make sure that we have a, a small camber underneath the foot that allows you to charge and, and get the edge creep even in, in harder conditions as well. It's obviously very important to make sure that you're making the rational choices, but we truly believe, and thanks to the Mountain Collective work, that we found the perfect balance in between uh, performance, versatility and playfulness thanks to the new shape. I'm eager going skiing actually, and now it's snowing outside. <laughs> So after the launch of the Lang XT3 this year, it was a super success. Uh, we're really happy to present the touring version, the even lighter version uh, from XT series. It's called XT Tour. And uh, we have three different models, XT Pro, XT Sport and XT Tour. So three different models. So the new XT Tour boot, uh, it's uh, lighter than the XT3 and uh, we only have one last. So here we always have low volume and mid volume. That means 97 or 100 millimeter waist. Uh, not waist, the last. Uh, but in the Tour boot, we have a 99, so it's in between, you can say. They all come with uh, thermoformable uh, liners and uh, the sizes for next year will not cover the smallest feet, but it will go from 25 to 29. And the weight, uh, depending on model, but it's around 1400 grams. And it skis like an alpine boot. It's amazing. And they are all based around the, let's say, the common strive for Lang ski boots. It's performance and it's power transfer. So uh, by power transfer, we, we often mean that we like to focus on a really, really strange thing uh, that competitors think. It's called dual core. And dual core for us, it's actually how we inject the plastic. So the dual core means that it's, let's say, double density of plastic in our shell. So here you can see the white zones, they are really stiff plastic, and the blue zones are much softer. And it's all made in, a, let's say, a sandwich construction. And this emphasis on even more power, even more rebound, so we can make the boots easier to get in and out of and still have a superb ski ability. And of course, it was with the XT3 and now also with the XT Tour. The XT Tour is uh, with Gorilla Mid plastics, so it's, it's called a dual core light. And then also um, Lang increased the ra uh, range of movement in the ski boot from the normal wall mountain or hybrid ski boot, the XT3. And we also emphasized on having a rockered uh, footboard, seppa, inside the shell that helps you to walk even, even more easy. Keep in mind, we have the Dynafit, the certified tech inserts in the ski boot as well. So uh, it's the highest quality, that's the standard. And it's not grip walk soles on the new, it's a pure 80 norm, that means 95, 23. So uh, it's, uh, it's meant for hybrid bindings and tech bindings, no Alpine standard. If you want the Alpine standard, you have to use the grip walk version. And the grip walk version, they are the XT3. In the Dynastar range for next year, 21-22, uh, we have a new member in the M3 family. And M3 is uh, our free ride skis, of course, but they are without the metal. If you look for the Titanol skis, they are called M Pro. But for next year, we have the M399, uh, let's say a younger brother to the skis that were launched this season. We had the 
M3108 and M3118. But for next year, we're really stoked to have the 99 waist. Uh, this is perfect for uh, a wider audience than the 108 and 118 that were from this year. So this ski is a, a hybrid core construction, full sidewall, and a more, let's say, progressive, uh, playful shape than the M Pro skis that we have. So hybrid core is actually a typical dinner star recipe of making the ski uh, lighter than a full wood core ski. So it's poplar wood core in combination with the PU foam. Uh, and the foam actually dampens a lot of high uh, vibrations while the wood gives power and agility to the ski. So the M399 uh, is uh, sold as a flat ski, but uh, we prefer to have the look pivot uh, bindings to that ski. And it's a great, great looking set. Well, this ski in, in the 179, it's around 1900 grams. And it's a all mountain or a free ride ski. We would like to focus more on the playful side since it's like a twin tip shape, but still with a camber or early rise. So we're really stoked about this new M399. Hi guys, I want to introduce you to the Vision 108. Vision 108 is a fantastic ski because it has everything. It's super light, but also very, very powerful. It contains a mixture of aramide, carbon fiber and fiberglass and that on top of the wood core. That's the perfect mixture for us to make it super light but still very edge holding. So on the foot we have of course metal and then we have those three different layers on top. So the ski itself is very fantastic if you want to go touring uphill but it will be very, very torsional stiff if you want to go downhill and it has a fantastic eight edge grip. So 108 on the foot is the perfect mix in regards of a full day on the mountain. If we put all those features together, I would say that Line created an extremely modern ski in the way that you get the light feeling both on snow, in the air, hiking up, ski downhill, but still you keep this firm, solid performance on the way down. And this is the beauty of those two mixes and the mixes of all the products and materials in the ski. The ski is for a very outgoing, outdoor driven person that uses different parts of the mountain, different parts of the resorts, uh, ski on many different places during one season. And he wants one ski to do it all. This is the Vision 108. So the conclusion of this ski and who it's for, this is for, I would say, a guy or a girl that is not only into touring, but love to ski a lot. Mainly they have a tech binding and a tech boot for this ski to make the whole package complete and light because that's where it comes to its best. The new uh, beacon from Black Diamond that's coming out next year is uh, Recon LT. It is uh, the lightest beacon on the market, uh, 137 grams, including batteries. So it's super lightweight. It comes in this holster. And uh, as you see, it's really compact, which makes it more comfortable to wear. And it's also quite advanced uh, as the other BD beacons and Peeps beacons. It's, uh, it has a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth connection, so you can update it by yourself. It's super easy to use. You have an 
on off switch up here and uh, send and search all done from the top here with the locking mechanism you have a, a flag button also yeah super easy to use smaller it's thinner uh, as you see it only uses one batteries as opposed to regularly you use uh, of most often you use uh, two two or more batteries everything is super compact inside it's around a 100 gram difference. I would say not only weight uh, makes a difference, it's also like when you wear it, it's, it's much more comfortable because it's, uh, it doesn't stick out so much. It's really slim, makes it more comfortable to wear. You don't have a limit on how many uh, you can search. It is of course a three antenna beacon, uh, fully digital. Uh, there is no limit how many you can flag. It doesn't go down in performance as you flag uh, multiple uh, uh, victims. Really, really good in performance. So when you flag, so if you think about if you have uh, several victims uh, buried, uh, they each have a beacon uh, that sends out a signal. Each big beacon has a little bit difference in a signal. When you search for for the closest uh, beacon, it leads you it leads you to that beacon, and when you flag that beacon, it kind of blocks off uh, the incoming signal from that beacon, and uh, immediately uh, picks up the next closest beacon. For 2021-22, we have added two new uh, carbon fiber models. Fusion Carbon Ultra in 85 and 105. These Rando skis are 200 grams lighter than the normal uh, Fusion Carbon. Despite of the low weight, 1300 grams, we have managed to develop a ski with really good uh, skiing performance. We have optimized the construction and the, it's a lighter wood core, it's a lighter carbon fiber and also smaller edges, steel edges. Fusion Carbon Ultra is the choice for the skier that are looking for a lightweight ski on the way up and stability on the way down. So here is the, the new uh, Impulse series that's coming out next winter, winter 21-22. It's the next version or the follow-up from our previous uh, Boundary Pro series, but it's a completely different ski. It's a completely new shape, uh, new lengths. It's a new core. It's much more playful. It's much shorter radius, so it's much quicker to turn. Super fun to ski, very easy. It comes in 98, 104 and 112. I would say it's a perfect ski for the next step up from our Helio Carbon skis. Probably perfect for either a hybrid binding or as we have it mounted here with a tech binding. If you want a little harder charging ski to, to ski tour on or, or ski in the system, wherever you want to in the backcountry. The measurements and weights, the radius be about 16 to, to 19 meters. So it's quite different than our previous skis. So much quicker to turn. And uh, the weights are below two kilos. So about 1.9 or just around, just below two kilos per ski. Yeah, so construction wise, uh, it's uh, poplar wood with uh, glass fiber. It's a little stiffer in the, in, the, in the waist, but a little softer in the tip and tail. And um, yeah, it makes for a playful ski. Kind of skier for this ski is probably a big chunk of the ski market today. They want to access uh, the fun snow, but they still want to stay close to the ski lifts, um, but be able to, to do some hiking to, to reach the good snow and have fun. It's uh, slightly rockered, so tip and tail. 
It's not massive, but there is some rocker both in tip and tail. Cool. I would probably say like for us here in Scandinavia, probably the 98 would be the, the most uh, versatile. We're not known for the deepest powder here, but for a little more harder snow. Uh, 104 would be on those powder days and in, in like in the Alps. And uh, 112, perfect for deep powder days or like trips to Japan, etc. Yeah, they're all built similarly. This is the new QSD 98. Uh, QSD 98 is a completely new ski versus the previous generation of QSD 99. Uh, we are moving the wider uh, or lowering the wider uh, point of the ski in towards uh, the middle of the ski, both in the, in the tip and also in the tail, uh, to create uh, the agility and, and the, the pivot, pivoting uh, uh, support that you would like to have. Um, so looking at the radius, we're down now at 16 meters. So that tells you that you're going to be pretty agile uh, skiing and uh, it's easy to get from turn to turn. Um, looking at the, uh, the materials that we're using, so it's uh, obviously it's a full length wood core ski uh, where we are uh, implementing our carbon flex, so our, our CFX construction in tip, of tip and tail to get the power and, and the strength in the ski that we want to have um, and um, it's a very versatile ski uh, it's it's a ski that works uh, super good skiing uh, groomers and, and on the slopes for a full day um, it's uh, thanks to the shape of the ski you got great flotation mode so so using it on a, on a powder day is fantastic uh, and obviously thanks to the new the new shape of the ski and, and with the uh, lowering of the point uh, the uh, the wider points of the ski, uh, as well as increasing the rocker shape a little bit. It actually is a, it's a super good ski also for, for the parks. So this is a uh, next generation of Salomon goggles. So launching for next winter, a new spherical goggle uh, with a spherical lens. Uh, so talking about first the, the frame, um, we got this uh, uh, custom ID fit, so we got flex zones to make sure that it's, uh, it's very versatile in terms of your shape, so fitting a lot of, a lot of faces. And what we learned from the past basically is that we, we might have done some goggles that were a little bit too narrow over your eyes, and now we've, I think we found the right balance here uh, to not be away from, you know, or not disturbing your, your eyes when skiing. Uh, so that's super important. We also got a, a new anti-fog system to make sure that we have good ventilation and, and uh, remove the fog from, from the inside of the goggle. So that's super important. And wide straps with uh, silicone to make sure that you are having the goggles safe and on, your, on your helmet when skiing. Uh, very easy to adjust and, and adopt. It's a mechanical lens uh, exchange system. Yeah, in, with our new Sigma lenses, it's uh, definitely time to see. So, so basically we are focusing on making sure that we are uh, removing uh, eye strains and that we are strengthening our contrast while skiing. It's the perfect uh, lens and it's available in, in various offers uh, in different uh, categories from one to three uh, and also in different colors. All right, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you want to see some more content about uh, skiing and ski gear, then uh, we have a lot more to offer here at freeride.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like the video. See you on the next one. Bye bye.